In this clip, we'll learn to use a very cool option in PowerPoint 2007, the ability to play Flash movies in our presentations. Shockwave Flash is an animation format whose files have an SWF extension, not to be confused with Flash Video or FLV files. These SWF, or SWIFT files as they're commonly called, can be played in a presentation by using what's known as an ActiveX control. So in a nutshell, to play a Flash movie in our presentation, we'll add an ActiveX control to our title slide and create a link from it to the Flash file. Let's begin by clicking the Microsoft Office button and then click PowerPoint Options. Click Popular and then select Show Developer tab in the ribbon. This will allow us to add our ActiveX control. ActiveX Control security settings, by the way, are located here in the Trust Center. Keep this in mind in case you need to adjust your security settings to allow ActiveX controls to run. Remember, you can always use the PowerPoint Help button to search for more information on ActiveX controls and Trust Center settings. Since we've enabled our Developer tab and no other adjustments are needed here, we'll click OK and OK again. Now click the newly visible Developer tab. Developers will be familiar with the code editing options available here in the code group, as well as the most common ActiveX objects here in the controls group. To get to the ActiveX object we need, we'll click the More Controls icon. Here we want to scroll down to find Shockwave Flash Object. If it's not in your list of controls, you'll need to download and install the free Flash Player from the Adobe website. You'll then be able to select it and click OK. Now we'll drag a box on the slide where our Flash movie will go. Then come up to the Controls group and click Properties. On the Alphabetic tab, we can see a list of properties that affect how this control handles our movie file, but we'll only need to modify three of them. Let's come to the Movie property, and in the Value column next to Movie, type the full drive path, or the URL, to the Flash file that we want to play. As mentioned before, this type of file ends with an SWF extension. To play the file automatically when the slide is displayed, make sure the Playing property is set to True. And depending on how the Swift file was created, we could have our movie play repeatedly if we set the Loop property to True. We'll close the Properties window, and now on the Status bar, click Slideshow View. Now that's a nice way for our presentation to start. Let's press the Escape key for one last tip. If you ever change the Swift file's location on your system or transfer the presentation to another system, you'll need to transfer the Swift file as well and update the drive path in the ActiveX Objects Properties window. You can do that either through the Developer tab or just right-click the object and select Properties. If you don't update the path, the file won't play.